Have you ever wondered how to add subtitles to your videos? Well, I'm gonna show you two ways that you can use subtitles to not only add to your shorts and your videos, that you can customize, change colors, change font, and so on, but I'm also gonna show you how you can actually use your text to edit your video, so let's have a look. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to actually edit from text on your video. I've added in a clip to this very video into DaVinci, and now I'm gonna right click on that and go down to audio transcription, and then transcribe audio. Now it may take a little while depending on how big the clip is, but keep in mind that the longer the clip, the longer this takes. It's going to transcribe all the audio that's used into text. As you can see, it's transcribed that whole section of the video into text, which we can move around and put that wherever we like. I'm just gonna put that there for now. Hit play on the video and you can see it scroll through the text. Do you ever want to add subtitles to your videos? Well, I'm gonna show you two ways that you can use subtitles to not only add to your shorts and your videos, but you can customize, change colors, Font and so on. Let's just say I want to use just this line here. If I left click and scroll over it with my mouse and select it, you can see it adds a beginning keyframe and an out keyframe, so you've got in and out of your video. If I drag that down to my timeline, you'll see it's just that sentence. I'll just bring that out of the way so you can see it in this screen here. We'll go back to the start. And you can literally edit your whole video this way. You can go, okay, let's click on this sentence here and we'll put that there and we'll do another cut frame just here like that. See, in and out point. Left click and drag that down to your timeline. And you can do this word here. I like that bit. Another in and out cut frame. Bring that down to the video. Let's go here. And as you can see, it's cutting all sections of the video and you can bring it all down. And of course, if I press play, it's not gonna make any sense, but you'll see how it's cut all the video together. Sorry, I'll select the timeline and do that. So that's how you can edit just by using the audio transcript from your video. It's a pretty powerful thing. Now let's talk about how to add subtitles to your videos. Now if you want to create subtitles from video, you drag your video down into your timeline and click on timeline up here on the top and scroll down to create subtitles from audio. Now you can change a few settings here. I'm gonna leave it to English. Uh, leave subtitle default, 42 characters, leave that as it is, and then just do create. You have to give it a minute, sometimes it can take a while. Now you can see that there is a timeline of your text. So if you press play from here. Do you ever want to have add subtitles to your videos? Well, I'm gonna show you two ways you can use subtitles to not only add to your shorts and your videos, but you can customize, change colors, change fonts, and so on. As you can see, it's it's pretty cool, it's pretty accurate. So if you select your subtitles down here and go up to Inspector, you can see that all your subtitles are here. And you see you're in Caption View, and this is every single individual piece of text that's on that track. If you click on Customize Caption, you can change the font, the color, the size, so on. So we can make it bigger, we can make the font, I quite like Montserrat, bold, extra bold, let's go to that. You can change the color of it. If you want to, I wouldn't go with that color, but anyway, you can change the color of it and you can go next. Now, if you go up to track on the top right, you can change the color and style of all the captions in the entire video. So I'm gonna change it to blue and do okay. You can change the size, as we talked about before. You can change the font, go back to Montserrat again extra bold, you can put a drop shadow on it if you want to, you can put a background on it, and you can change the color of that background to a different color if it suits you. If you want your text to stand out a bit, you can change the size, you can put a border on that, you can change the shape of that, you can change your opacity if you want it less or more, and if you press play, you'll see that it's done it to all of them. Now, if you wanted to export that subtitle to a separate file, so you can use it on YouTube or whatever, you can actually cl right click here and go export subtitle, and you can save it where you want to save it, and they can upload that to YouTube as a separate file if you want. Otherwise, when you render this out, it will be embedded into the video. Now, this is great for shorts, because you actually have that bonus of having 
even though my subtitles here are absolutely disgusting looking, you have the bonus of having really cool subtitles going through your video without having to do any extra work for it. You can also export them separately via the deliver page if you click on that. If you click on custom export at the top then scroll down to the bottom you'll see the subtitle settings here and you can export subtitles by themselves as a separate file pretty much any file type you could possibly could need for a subtitle and while you're in that area if it says format as a separate file it will render out your subtitles as a separate file if you click on burn into video then it would automatically add that into the video as well so when you render that video out it will have the subtitles embedded if you don't tick that and just leave it and render your video out as normal, you'll have no subtitles on your screen. Now you know how to do that, click on this video here for more quick tips on DaVinci Resolve or the video below if you're just starting out with DaVinci and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.